metering is really important. When you're shooting manually, it makes all the difference. When you're shooting in aperture priority, shutter priority or automatic, it won't make any difference at all, not really. But metering in manual makes all the difference. And this is why. When you're adjusting your shutter speed, your aperture or your ISO, you need to reference it against something that is normal, that will look good. And we use the meter for this. You'll hear more about this when we're talking about shooting manually. To give you an idea of metering, it's on the side of your camera when you're looking through the viewfinder. So it's gonna be one side, the other side, or even down the bottom. The same principle applies no matter where it is. There's gonna be a zero, then a couple of spaces, plus one, and then plus two, and then minus one, minus two. Zero should be, it's properly exposed. So you don't want something underexposed. You don't want something overexposed. You want it correctly exposed. But in the meantime, I've got my trusty gray card. Now I know that that's gonna help me with my white balance, but I also know that it's gonna get an accurate brightness, my luminosity. So how am I gonna do that? Don't trust your camera's meter, check it. Make sure that your camera's meter is doing what it's saying. So it's trying to say that zero in the middle is accurate, but is it? So I know that this particular gray card, it's when I put my cursor on there and I'm checking its white balance. I know its luminosity is 220 where it looks good. I want to test a camera because I have multiple cameras. They're not all in zero to be accurate. Some are high and some are below in their accuracy. They haven't been calibrated really finely, but I'm aware of that, so that's fine. So I know I can shoot where my meter is up here or down here. So as I'm looking at my meter, I'm looking at my meter, I'll get it to where I think zero should be. A part of that also, I'm gonna jump a step, I'm gonna say calibrate your screen as well that you're looking at your images. So find the brightness of your screen and turn it to the halfway mark. What I'd like you to do is to print something. Have a picture on your screen that looks normal when you're at the halfway mark and then print that and have a look. Does it look like what I'm looking at on my screen? The printer won't lie. And then when you clean up a photo, and it looks great and you print it, it'll also look great. So calibrate your screen and then take a shot that you think, okay, this should look good according to my meter. Spot metering for this. So we spot meter on something and then look at it as a reality, then look at it on your camera, then look at it on your computer screen, then print it and see if all of them match up you may find that you need to adjust your meter one way or the other. We'll get into metering, which is really important in how to shoot manually. You'll find out how it works in conjunction with the others just to make sure that this shot's going to work.